Hey everyone, so this is my third attempt at trying to make this video here. Um, it's been a little difficult considering that I have to show you guys some things on the computer screen itself. So I've had to use a camera. I just seem to be running out of time every single time I try to film this. So I'll just stick to the basics and go through it really fast. Pretty much this is going to be a follow-up to my unboxing and quick review of the Kobo Arc here. Um, and this is going to be a video about how to transfer files from your computer to the device itself. Pretty much you can see here I have a micro USB um, to USB cable over here. Um, you're going to want to plug that from the device into the computer. Um, and if you're using a Mac computer, you're going to have to download um, the Android file transfer software from the Android website itself. Just, there you go. It's safe and it's recommended by um, Android so that you'll be able to organize uh, and upload your files to the device itself. Um, Pretty much you're going to have all the files here, um, sorry, all the file folders here. Um, once you plug in the device itself, the application should just start up on its own. Um, the main things you're going to want to look at here are the books, the movies, and the music folders. Pretty much uh, if you have music from iTunes, you can just drag it over and drop it into the uh, music folder here. But with videos, I've noticed that um, M for V video types, like The Angels Take Manhattan, the episode of Doctor Who, um, that's been downloaded directly from the Apple iTunes store, uh, will not display on the Android um, like on any Android tablet, um, but other videos that have been downloaded from another source, uh, play on it just fine, um, so yeah, the only real content that will play on the Android device is, uh, content that you've downloaded from other sources other than, um, the iTunes store, um, except, with music as I previously stated. Um, it's really simple, pretty much you just download it, plug in your device, um, the file opens up, sorry, the window opens up here um, with the amount of memory you have left in there. I've uploaded a whole bunch of stuff to it, so that's why it's kind of reduced right now. Um, but yeah, that's just about it. If you're using a Windows computer, you don't need to download this um, software. It should be something that's just built into the system. I'm not sure what happens if you're running Linux um, or if you're using a Chromebook. Um, I'd assume with a Chromebook that it's also just built into the software and you don't need to download anything extra. Um, but I'm not just I'm just not that familiar with the with the devices themselves, so I can't say too much for them. Um, but yeah, you just plug it in, and you can transfer files over. Easy. There's no um. Sorry, just a second. There's no lock screen while you um, transfer files over to the device. Um, the only thing is that, say you're using the music application uh, while you're transferring music over to the device, um, it'll just sort of pop up automatically, but it might take um, a few seconds longer once the file is finished loading to the device um, for it to actually become available to play. Um, I noticed one problem uh, with the device not being able to uh, render certain CD uh, CD images like the CD artwork um, 
and I tried confirming with my MacBook why that might have happened, um, but I couldn't find any reason for that to be happening. But either way, it's just a couple of um, CD covers, so it's not that big of an issue. Um, as long as the contents itself is able to transfer over, um, that's all that matters. Um, so that should be it. Uh, hopefully that was of some help, and if not, uh, just put in the comments below what more you'd like for me to say, um, and have a good day then. See ya.